So today's the day I gotta change this high tunnel over from winter production to summer production. So in the winter time here, you can see we're doing the double cover here, sort of Ellie, Ellie Coleman style with, um, with hoops and row cover. And uh, this is the medium weight row cover, the Agravon. And uh, we're going to change this over to summer mode, which will be tomatoes. We're going to go 100% tomatoes in the tunnel this season. Really excited about that. Uh, we're going to do just cherry tomatoes. We're going to do a bunch of different varieties. So we'll get started with that. First thing is we'll have to take all the winter stuff out of here, all the row cover, and take out the irrigation. We're going to pull these crops, prep these beds, and get tomatoes in. I'm probably a few weeks later on planting the tomatoes in. I should, probably should be, but got to get it done. Got all these beds cleared out. Um, just doing a full changeover from winter mode to spring summer mode and I'll do another whole video about my greenhouse and sort of the strategy in here but um, basically what we're doing here is we're going to do uh, four rows of tomatoes we're going to do a double row in the center this is a wider bed this is a 40 inch bed and then we'll do single rows on the outsides and those are 30 inch beds and then we'll trellis them up but before we do that we got to prep the ground and um, it's gonna we're gonna broad fork it first and I use two different broad forks. Actually, one's only one's a digging fork, one's a broad fork. I got this guy here. Um, not the biggest fan of it. Um, I got it from Dubois, and you know, after a year or so, it's been working great because it's pretty lightweight. And when you're working with it for a while, it, it feels pretty good. It's not super heavy. But breaking new ground, it, I bent the, the forks like a million times. I keep bending them back, but yeah it's, you need something you need something better for uh if you got really heavy ground and you know you're working it for the first time i'd probably rec recommend the, the meadow creature uh, i'll put a link in the description for that um the other thing that i like um is this guy and this is a uh digging fork and this one was recommended by curtis stone in one of his videos and i absolutely love it it is an awesome little fork um very stiff tines uh, just really well made. The thing I love about it the most is the round handle on top because most forks have just a straight handle. But this one, as you see, you can really pull back on it. And the reason I have this is to do the side beds because if you put the broad fork over there, it will hit the top of the, the tunnel. So these guys are great because you can um, do the side beds here. And you probably have to do, you know, like two across to get to get the effect. But the same time it allows you to fork in here. I also, I've also used this for a lot of other things and some of the things have been just some of our flower beds just around our house. Uh, it's good to like fork it with this just in tighter areas and stuff like that. So this is a great little fork. As I said, uh, I'll, actually I'll post a li link in the description below. Get this on Amazon and it's a little pricey but man it is just super well built and I really love this really durable round handle. It really allows you to pull back on it just like you would on a broad fork. Anyways, broad fork and then after that uh, I'm going to flame weed this, we'll bring in compost and amendments, and uh, we'll hopefully be able to plant tomatoes soon. Got the beds all strung out, and so we know everything is. As I said, the outer beds are 30 inches. The middle bed is 40 inches. As I said, I'll do that in another video and explain all the weirdness of this. I usually try to keep everything standard in 30 inches by 50 feet, but this tunnel is kind of an oddball here on the farm. So I used uh, three wheelbarrows per 30 inch bed and four for the 40 inch bed. And uh, that's a little bit more than I usually put on at the beginning of the season, but uh, these are tomatoes going in, they're heavy feeders, and I probably won't be able to get compost in here for a while after this. So, quite a bit of compost in there. We're going to uh, level it out with a rake, add some amendments, tilt it, rake it, and then we can start planting. Alright, beds are all done, looking great. If you were a tomato, this is where you'd want to be. The day's just about over here, so we'll get the transplants in in probably the next day or two. Hey, so yesterday I got half the tomatoes done. The center bed here is 40 inches wide and these tomatoes are spaced very intensively. We're trying to maximize our production and it's going to take a lot of management in terms of pruning but 
We had good, pretty good luck last year with, with spacing them super close. Uh, we had a different setup last year, but this is a 40 inch bed. The tomato plants here are gonna be spaced 12 inches apart in row, and the two rows will be about 16 inches apart, and they are staggered. And uh, part of the reason we're doing this is to keep them close together, uh, so we can still get make sure we can walk through here. And as I said, it will take a lot of management, but um, hopefully we'll have a lot of yield, good yield. So today I'm gonna to plant the outer two beds here, and, uh, and then we should be good. I'll put the, the drip irrigation back in, and uh, go from there. Uh, one thing you can maybe may or may not be able to see in the in the video here is that uh, a lot of these plants are already leaning over quite a bit, and that's my fault. I waited too long to get these guys in the ground. I just been really busy with a million things, so they're a little bit past due for transplanting, but it will it will be okay. So after we get these in, we will uh, trellis them up, and uh, I'll just I'll show you how I transplant, and uh, and then I'll show you when we're all done. So I don't claim to be an expert at all about tomatoes. Grew them last season, and. I don't know, did okay. But I'll just show you what I'm gonna do and you can see if it helps or not. Um, these guys, this is a tray here and these were potted up about a month ago or so, I don't remember the exact dates, but each one's in a little little pot here and we're gonna transplant, transplant these into the ground. The other thing about this tray is cool. You guys know I love bottom watering, so it's a basket that's got, it's just open on the bottom and this is one of those shallow trays that does not have holes in it. So you can, you can bottom water with these guys. It also makes it a lot stiffer to carry these around because they're, they're kind of heavy. So I take, my, I take my tomato plant and the first thing I'm gonna do is just prune off all the little guys on the bottom. This does a couple things, it just keeps it the air moving around the base of the plant. And also, uh, when I go to trellis these, I'll easily be able to um, attach the string to it. So, just teasing it out. You can see these have been in here a little bit too long, as I just mentioned. So I take my, my trowel here, and I'm just gonna dig as deep as I can, realistically. Um, I always complain about my soil here, so <laughs> as deep as I can. Plop it in the hole. And that's another reason why you should trim up a little bit on the bottom of the plant. In fact, I'm gonna take off one more here. And that's because I, I try to put them in kind of deep. Uh, that way the roots have a lot more room to move around in there. And then just uh, just cover it up. This guy looks great. And uh, just got a whole bunch of these to do. So I'm gonna get to it. All right, all the tomatoes are in, drip is reinstalled. I'm just letting it run for a little while here to uh, wet them in pretty well, and then we'll be good to go besides trellising them, which will happen later this week. I got some other stuff I gotta get to first, and the other thing is just to put some more wood chips in the walkways so that it sort of levels it levels it out. And I just wanna show you guys what, what I just did. Tomatoes, tomatoes, Whole bunch of tomatoes. So varieties, we're talking um, mostly Sun Gold and Sakura, and we've got a couple oddballs that we're playing with some bumblebees and um, some black cherries. That way we're just gonna have mixed pints just to give it some different colors and sizes and stuff like that. But we should get tons of production out of this house this summer. Looking good. And with that, I just wanna say uh, thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it. Just trying to get this information out to as many farmers and gardeners as possible so you guys can grow really good food. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.